We're playing like a champion in today's video. Go Irish. Welcome to Lurks Lessons, a monthly channel where I explain all you need to know in becoming a sports fan of a professional or collegiate team. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing by clicking the button below. Today, I'm going to cover five basic categories to get you prepared in becoming a Notre Dame fan. So please feel free to pause or rewind the video at any time. All right, let's get to it. For my name is Jeff Lurkey, and here's what you need to know and how to be a Notre Dame Fighting Irish fan. Located in South Bend, Indiana, the Fighting Irish football team plays independently without belonging to a conference. This allows the school to have a schedule that includes teams from multiple conferences throughout the NCAA Division I schools. Their colors are blue, metallic dome gold, and Irish green. When it comes to their hardware, Notre Dame are one of the elites. The school has won 11 national titles, one college football playoff appearance, and seven Heisman Trophy winners. With 13 undefeated seasons, the Irish have 48 players and coaches in the College Football Hall of Fame, which is the most of any university. Fun fact, the university's first game was played on November 23, 1887, losing to neighboring Michigan 8-0. What's interesting about this first game is that Michigan taught the rules of football to the Notre Dame students and scrimmaged for a half hour before even playing the game. During a time when Grover Cleveland was the president of the U.S., they went on to play the Wolverines two more times in April of 1888 and lost, giving the Irish an overall season record of 0-3. Humble beginnings for a school that has become one of the top tier football programs in the nation, don't you think? Notre Dame offers a ton of football traditions that are all fan favorites. Saying a prayer at the grotto before a game, the players hitting the play like a champion today sign when leaving the locker room, and having mass with the team pregame are all unique to the Irish faithful. But the one tradition that many consider to be the most unforgettable are the trumpets under the dome. During home football game weekends, the trumpeters from the marching band play two songs, Notre Dame's alma mater and fight song at the Golden Dome on campus, which is the university's main building. To a standing room only crowd, the interior rotunda has three floors where the music echoes throughout and the school spirit lifts up any fan eager for a home victory come game time. Notre Dame's personnel is littered with phenomenal athletes and legendary coaches, so I've narrowed down four guys you need to know in being an Irish fan. At number four is Lou Holtz. Head coach for the Irish for 11 seasons, Holtz led the team to a national championship in 1988. With an overall coaching record of 249, 132, and 7, Holtz is the only college football coach to lead six different programs to bowl games. In 2008, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. At number three, I got number 81, Tim Brown. Touchdown Timmy became the first wide receiver to win the Heisman Trophy in 1987. Two-time All-American, Brown was drafted number six overall in the 1988 NFL Draft and played for 17 seasons. A nine-time Pro Bowler, number 81 was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 2015. Insane props. At number two, I have number three, Joe Montana. Quarterback for the Irish from 1974 to 78, Joe Cool led the Irish in winning a national championship in 1977. Even though he didn't receive many accolades while in college, Joe became a legendary NFL quarterback with the 49ers, winning four Super Bowls and being a three-time Super Bowl MVP. Montana was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 2000. Finally, our number one guy you need to know as a Notre Dame fan is Newt Rockney. This dude was the dude. Head coach from 1918 to 1930, Rockney won three national championships and had five undefeated seasons. He's widely credited to popularizing the forward pass in collegiate football during a time where running the ball was king. Dying unexpectedly at the young age of 43 from a plane crash in 1931, Rockney had an overall record of 105 to 12 to five. In his honor, Notre Dame Stadium is also known as the house that Rockney built. Now that you have some names memorized, let's complete our lesson by going over the most important information in today's video. Lean in as I go over our most detested opponent. The Fighting Irish's arch rivals are the University of Southern California Trojans. The annual rivalry game has been played since 1926, excluding the World War II years, and is considered to be the greatest intersectional rivalry in college football. Both elite programs have won a combined 22 national championships and 14 Heisman trophies, 
along with each having 12 former players in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which is the most of any school. Say what? The winner houses the Jeweled Shillelagh, a trophy that's an Irish footlong club which is covered in respective jeweled ornaments of the winning teams for each year. The current record is 47-36-5 in favor of the Irish, but come on, was that even worth mentioning? For we all know who is better. There have been impressive and nail-biting games between the two schools, but the one worth noting was the game on November 26, 1988. Notre Dame, having the number one ranking in the country, visited the number two Trojans team in SoCal. Both teams were 10-0 and knew that whoever won the game would play for a national title. The Irish won the contest 27-10 and won their national championship in the Fiesta Bowl. It was the first time that both teams faced each other while undefeated, and it was the 60th matchup. Now get this, if the rivalry is played in SoCal, then the game is scheduled for the month of November. But if it's played in South Bend, the game is scheduled in the month of October. Why do you ask? <laughs> I guess them West Coast boys can't take the cold. <laughs> Anyways, let's recap. Notre Dame plays independently. They have 11 national titles. The Trumpets Under the Dome is an awesome tradition. The house that rocked me built. And you really dislike the USC Trojans. There you have it. You're now fully prepared in becoming a fighting Irish football fan. Have fun at the game and take in all of the great tradition that comes in being a Notre Dame fan. Just remember to stretch if you plan to partake in doing touchdown push-ups while being in the student section. Go Irish! Hey guys, thanks for watching today's Lurks Lessons video. Please subscribe to the channel and also leave some comments about other cool things Notre Dame fans really need to know. Also check out the description below to see all the updated stats that were shown in today's video. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.